What I want to do before we kind of open it up to a question and answer with the group here is start by saying these are the top 10 frequently asked questions we get with IMBA admissions. Hopefully by, I can knock out a bunch of people's questions just by going through this list. <clears throat> so the first question being, what degree is received at the end of the program? Commonly people want to know, is it an IMBA, is it an MBA, is there any designation to the degree being completed online? And the answer to that is it is an MBA degree from the University of Illinois Urbana-Champaign. There is no designation on the degree that it was completed online, and it will be the same degree that is earned by the students who are completing our offline program. Is the program fully accredited? Yes, absolutely it is. It is fully accredited by the AACSB through the College of Business, the same as all of our other programs in the College of Businesses. So yes, this is a fully accredited program. Is the GMAT or GRE required? Very common question we see, and what I like to tell people is what I said before. What we're really looking at is for people with that three to five years or less of professional work experience to submit a GMAT score to make their application more competitive. It is not required for our process, but it's something that we highly suggest for people who are in that lower work experience. How long is the program? This depends on you and your plan. The quickest you can complete the program is the 24 months. However, some students choose to stretch that out to 36 months, depending on whatever comes up in their life or what they need to do. Additionally, you can come in somewhere in the middle, and we will work with you throughout your time if you get an unexpected change in job or a family situation, something along those lines, where maybe you need to step back for an eight-week session. We're willing to work with you through those things, but our timeline for the program is typically 24 to 36 months. What is the cost of the program? As I said before, the cost of the program is just under 22000 and that's looking at the fact that we have 18 Illinois courses for credit that need to be taken at approximately $250 a credit hour for four credits. So if you think of it that way, that would give you $1,000 per class for 18 classes. That's 18000 right there. The additional money comes from each one of the 36 Coursera courses you need to take have a $79 fee. So when you add those together, it comes out to just short of 21 we say 22 for the different course packets and materials you might need for your classes. Is there financial aid available? Financial aid is available, but it is limited and only available to degree-seeking domestic students. Um, I think it's important for people to know that up front when they're looking at their options, and it's a question we get all the time, so I want to make sure to address that. To go along with that a little bit, something else I like to point out, though, is the way that our structure of payments work is you don't have to pay the full money of the program up front. You can be billed on a class-by-class -class basis, this making the program much more affordable to people around the world. Does the IMBA program offer scholarships? The answer to that is no. Since we are a self-funded based program here, we don't offer any scholarships from our department. However, that being said, we do encourage you to seek private scholarships and other opportunities out there to help compensate for the cost of the program. What do you need with an international transcript? We will need copies to begin with for your application of all of your mark sheets and your degree certificate. If those are all in a native language, we will also need the English translation to those mark sheets and degree certificate to be evaluated. When I talked about the advantages of applying early, this is one of them to make sure we can get all the materials necessary. In addition, if you are admitted to the program, I like to give people the heads up, we will need originals so you can either bring those directly here to us or you can have them sent from the institution. But I know with uh, international transcripts that tends to be an issue that comes up, so we will need the actual originals if you're admitted to the program. How many letters of recommendation and who to choose to be my recommender? This is a question we also see. We need three letters of recommendation and who to choose, as I said before, is going to be professional letters, people who potentially have been a supervisor or work closely with you in some capacity. This is not for friends or colleagues to write letters of recommendation. Finally, what is the difference between the Coursera classes versus the Illinois Compass courses? Um, I think that it tends to be a point of confusion sometimes for students looking at the program to understand that for each one of those Illinois Compass courses where you really earn the four credit part, there are two corresponding Coursera courses that go along with it. One for weeks one through four, one for weeks five through eight. So in order to receive the four credits for a course from Illinois, what you're going to need to complete is the Illinois Compass portion and two Coursera classes as well. 
um, and hopefully that can provide a little better picture. One does not need to be completed before the other. You can go ahead and do both at the same time. Many of our students take the two in tandem, but if you want to work ahead, one thing you can do is take Coursera courses ahead of time.